Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. I continue to work my way through a list of requests from viewers for help solving challenges in Excel. Today, I'm going to help a viewer to identify, count, and total past due invoice amounts. I'll also demonstrate a great new feature in Excel 2007, how to use the filter to see which invoices will be past due next week or next month. All right, let's begin. Here's the letter. Dear Danny, your videos are very useful and you speak and teach at the right pace. Oh, thank you very much for that feedback. I need to know how to find all invoices that are past due by using the now function. If possible, I would also like to get a total of the invoice amount that is past due. I hope that you can help me with this. Thanks. Absolutely, I can help you. I've created an invoice register for my company. I've used, as the viewer has requested, the now function. The now function returns the current date and the current time. So the date, the hour, the minutes, and the seconds according to your system clock. I could have just as easily used the today function equals today left parentheses right parentheses so while there are no arguments for either the now function or the today function Excel requires a left and a right parentheses after the name of the function and now however I wish to format it is my preference so right mouse click format the cell and pick whatever format that you want why don't we use this format here click OK and there you go now the way that I began was I created a function I use the if function to identify past due invoices here's how it works the if function requires a logical test in this case the logical test is to look in this row for the due date and if it's less than the absolute cell reference to the cell b3 that contains the now function so if it's less than it means that it is earlier than today's date so the value if true is going to be the Test, text string past due. The value of false will be the text string current. It's important, of course, that we remember to put the absolute cell reference to the cell that contains today's date. Remember that today's date is a volatile formula, so tomorrow or next week when I open this up, the invoice register will change. It will show me new customers that are past due. And now I've totaled up the amount for this column, but we want to see the total amount for the past due. We'll use a different function for this. Over here, I've used the count if function to find the number of invoices that are past due. Here's how the count if function works equals count if look for a range in this case the range is the range in column E marked either past due or current the criteria that I want is the text string past due so it will look in this range for cells that contain the text string past due and then give me a count of the invoices to get the total amount I use the sum if function the sum if function is similar but one further argument. Once again, the range and the criteria are the same as we use for the count if, but now we're using an optional to sum the range. So when it finds the criteria in this range past due, it will come over here and add up the total of those invoices. So they're very good formulas to use. Let me show you how the sum if function works, but this time rather than using cell references, I'm going to create names for the values in column E and in column D. So let's first create the name for this range and we'll call it status. We highlight it, come up here into the name bar and say status as our name, hit enter. And over here we'll highlight the cells, we'll call this amount. Names in Excel must begin with letters and contain no spaces. All right, let's use this in the formula, equals sum if. Now notice in Excel 2007 we have a new feature called Formula Autocomplete. So when it finds the text that you're typing, it narrows down your choices. We're going to use sum if. A new function in Excel 2007 is sum ifs. I'll demonstrate that in another lesson. All right, left parentheses, and let me use the Control A keyboard shortcut to bring up the function arguments dialog box. All right, for the range, we name the range. 
let's use the F3 keyboard shortcut and say look in this range called status. When you look there, what's the criteria? I want it to match past due. Now again, I love to use the function arguments dialog box because if I'm not sure whether it requires double quotation marks, it will automatically supply them for me. Now, what do we want to sum? We want to sum the name range called amount. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. All right, finally, pass due as a percentage of the outstanding equals, and let's make a cell reference over here, so our past due amount divided by the amount that is our total of the invoices, and I formatted it as a percentage, so 69%. All right, now let's look at a great new feature in Excel 2007. As long as we have a structured data range, the titles, the field labels are clearly identified. I use bold formatting over here. No blank rows, no blank columns. Just select one cell, come over to data, and choose filter. Now we have our filter arrows. Of course, I could easily filter the amounts or the, the invoices that are past due, but a really great new feature is that I can come over here into the due date, and now in the data filters, and this is new in Excel 2007, I can say which ones will fall into the category next week. So select next week, and there you go. So this is an account. If it's not settled, it will change from current to past due. So there you've learned how to identify count and total past due invoice amounts, as well as use a great new filtering feature in Excel 2007. I'll see you in the next lesson.